Hey folks, welcome to yet another TPM 3 Minute Thursday. I'm Chris Ivan, and today I will cover SOLIDWORKS Task Scheduler, concentrating especially on convert and update files. So this tool, in my opinion, is underestimated and often forgotten. Make sure you take advantage of it and use it. It saves time, lots of time. For those of you using PDM, PDM has these options and a lot more available for the user. Right now, I will focus on Task Scheduler by itself and leave all the powerful automation tools PDM offers for another date. You can check out the link in the video for some quick tips. Here, I have a list of tasks which can be scheduled to take place at a particular time, such as during my lunch break or overnight or over the weekend, so on. Convert files allows us to upgrade our files from an older version of SOLIDWORKS to this version. If this task is extremely large, it can be distributed to multiple machines like a computer form. Upgrade Assistant allows us to test how our current older version files would behave if upgraded to the current version. If your SOLIDWORKS data is from 2013 or newer, this will determine if there are any performance changes or increases in file size of 10% or more. It will also discover stability problems and even rebuild issues such as a volume increase and a change in a center of mass. Next, we have update files. This runs rebuild to update the files with any changes made since the last time they were used. This task can be done to select files or to entire folders, hundreds of parts, drawings, or assemblies at a time. Updating associate files has SOLIDWORKS search for the reference of those files and update them. So I'll show you how convert files works. Here, I have a folder which contains a mixture of files parts, assemblies, and drawings, which were last saved in SOLIDWORKS 2014, 2015, and some in 2016. Once I launch the task, it allows me to choose a particular file or a folder. Notice that I set the time to just a few minutes from now. You can set it to any time in the future. Here, I see my task have been scheduled. Now I can go on with my day. When time comes, it will start in the background and search for the parts. Open and save them. As you can see, it does this very fast. Again, you see here files being opened and saved. Done. Now, when I check the original folder, all the files are upgraded to SOLIDWORKS 2019. Great. The other tools are just as easy to use. Create e-drawings, update simulation, design checker and render and animation, all simple tools. You can check out this link for a short video similar to this one on how to use create drawings. Thank you for watching this week's video.